be sleeping um, at Danny's place. He's gonna take some pictures of her newborn daughter. His. Yeah, his. Sorry. <laughs> well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes he floats. So. Um, as you can see, this is this is nightmare for any photographer. There's just too much going on. Uh, there's no there's no light here. He, I'm mm. right. I'm right here. Come back. <laughs> big big no no, obviously. So whenever you whenever you come in in any room, basically look for your light source. So the only light source I have here is this big window. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's going to be sufficient or not because I haven't really metered anything. That's right. I'll basically have to open this whole thing up and see what kind of metering I'm getting. And if I'm not getting a lot of light, then I'll just use a street light. Right? So you can see big mess, but you have to basically uh, improvise and make the best out of what's thrown at you. So there you go, that was your um, basic newborn shoot. Sorry, I don't have a lot of behind the scene footage because my wife was helping me position the baby and I was basically just ready to do the shots. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what was going behind uh, the scenes. All right, two lenses, uh, 50 mil, 85 mil. Um, why these two lenses? Well, because of the big aperture. I could open up my aperture and get really shallow depth of field, helps you with the lighting as well. But the main reason is that you don't want uh, you don't want to use kit lens to photograph newborn because when you zoom in, you're going to be at 5.6. That means your picture is going to be really sharp, and that's the last thing you want because newborn uh, babies they their skin you know the skin is peeling. Sometimes they're really hairy. Sometimes they have stuff in their eyes. They cry. Tears are right like inside there. And sometimes you don't pick up on these things, but the lens will, believe me. So that's why I recommend use a prime lens to photograph um, your newborn. And aperture range, I still don't shoot at wide open because it's just way too soft for me. I would suggest anything over two and maybe around 3.5 tops, okay? I mean, you could try it if you want. I mean, I mean it's, it's not like written in stone. Um, that's that's how I would do it so just keep in mind and 
can you do can you do a better shoot than this? Yes, this shoot was not planned at all, as you could tell. Uh, I mean, I did not use any basket. Um, if you have hardwood floors, that would be really nice. You know, place the baby uh, with like towels in the basket and on a hardwood floor, you could get some, and try different viewpoints. You could get a shot from the top, get nice color contrast of the hardwood floor with the basket. Um, you could get a Barbie doll bed and you know place the baby on top of that. There's so many things you could do. I mean, literally, if you sit down and just come up with ideas, if you are going to, especially if you're going to do this, you know, like on a side business or even full time, come up with these ideas, write them down. So next time when you're doing a shoot, it's like super fast. All right. This was not planned at all. And you still, you know, I think these are pretty decent pictures for, uh, I mean, the shoot was maybe, I don't know, 35 minutes, 40 minutes top. So the baby obviously um, was very, you know, cooperative as well. So that, that helps. Sometimes they're crying. Uh, then you just have to wait. So, and if they're crying, please don't try to get any shots. You're not going to get any. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any other requests, let me know. Next week, uh, I'm still working with another client, and uh, they want to do like a family port stuff. And if they let me, I'll I'll take my camera with me as well and get some of those shots as well. All right, guys. Hope all is well, and I'll see you guys on Facebook.